Broken Baller Crew, what is good? It's the Broken Baller. I'm back with that video that y'all been waiting for me to drop. The sock comparison video. I know, I know. Why is this dude testing socks? Well, because I'm kind of a sock guy. Like, I like socks. Like, really like socks. It's just something I like. Um, and I got tired of hearing about this brand, this brand, this brand. So what this is not going to be is me telling you to go pick this brand over that brand. I will tell you that I am loyal to Stance Hoops. And I'm always going to be loyal to Stance Hoops. And that's what I'm always going to hoop in. But I'm going to tell you the flaws with Stance Hoops. So please don't think this is going to be a, oh, Stance Hoops, the 100% perfect sock. There's no perfect sock. Like, none. I've never worn a perfect sock. Um, so what we're going to do first is I'm going to tell you all about the brand Blacks. My opinion on the brand Blacks, I'm not going to go into all the tech features. Y'all don't need to hear all that. You guys seen the socks. You put on the socks. Y'all worn all these socks. So I'm just going to tell you because there are some of you that have only worn Nike Elites or only wear UA Undeniables. Uh, or only wear stance hoops. So what this is is for you to have more information. So maybe you want to try another pair of socks The brand black socks these ones unfortunately only came with the Nightwing well slash wear testers uh, Slash brand black collaboration, which by the way those shoes were amazing. I do own two pairs They're literally that good if you can go get that collaboration. I would suggest going and getting a pair so I want to tell you that they do run a little long. They came up a little high, like I'm talking like up on the mid part of my calf. Um, and they're the correct size, mind you. That was my only like major deterrent of the sock is it just seemed to be a little long. It's not an issue. I'm sure, you know, you got to kind of guess for people's height, shoe size to height size to that, you know, your height, that kind of thing. I wear a seven and a half, eight, mostly an eight, sometimes eight and a half with brand black. I have to go down a half a size. So, you know, they basically made a medium and a large sock. And, you know, from size to this to this, got a medium. From size to this to this, got a large. Aren't they made on an extra large? I don't know. I'm not brand black. I can't tell you those, that information. Um, the material was really, really good. It's really nice and soft. It is, you know, it does stretch. It moves. Uh, there's no constriction issues getting into them. Sliding them on, sliding them off was very easy, even when they get soaked. Uh, the cushioning was awesome. Like, legitimately, um, this is one of the best cushioning in a sock I've ever felt. I'm not saying it's perfect, but it's definitely better than, uh, than like, the base NBA sock that the Nike's making right now. More on that later. Uh, but, you know, and then you had the midfoot piece. And it's, it's like, it's seriously, it's stitched here around the midfoot, right? So this is the way it should be. Because you need to have that containment on the mid part of the foot. Um, without making the forefoot too big, which is an issue with the NBA socks that are worn on court. More on that later. Um, it fit really, really, really good. The cushioning was really, really, really good. But when they got wet... They got wet and they got a little slick. Um, so if there's two drawbacks from the brand Black Sock was the length up here and the fact that after a while they just you had to change them out. There was no array around it. Obviously, in most socks, you're still going to have to change them out after so many hours of play, which I would recommend after a couple of hours changing out socks and shoes. Just not a good idea to hoop in the same sock and the same shoe the entire day. Because then you're releasing the shoe, releasing the shoe, releasing the shoe because you're slipping inside of it. So you got to go tighter, tighter, and tighter. So you're stretching out the upper on the shoe. Thought a little too quick for you. Slow it down, rewind it, go back, check it out. Anyway, so Bram Black, definitely a good sock. I hope to see more socks from them in the future. Um, well done, guys. Well done for your first sock. Next on to the UA Undeniables. Um, if you don't know, Stance Hoops is now making the UA Basketball socks. Yes, I had a direct hand in that. Uh, I did send my shoes per request to you to Stance's headquarters for the meeting with UA. So, you're welcome. Not Stance, but you're welcome. Because if you like Stance Hoops socks and you like UA Basketball, I'm going to give you a bow. Those socks are lit. Like, they're dope. 
I would gladly wear those socks. But can y'all just get some mediums? Please, can we get some medium socks? Why is it so hard for us small foot guys to get some medium socks around here? We just need some mediums. Just need some mediums. So, these are medium UA Undeniables. Um, first things first, the fit on them is very, very good. They're very, very snug to the foot. Um, second off, the cushioning is adequate. It's not the best. It's not the worst. Um, but they do break down kind of quick. Uh, they do feature an area around here where there's padding and you know some stretch material and it does breathe a little bit around the ankle which is kind of nice kind of keeps the airflow moving um the upper doesn't sit too high which is nice it doesn't come too far i mean these are crews and they don't come up you know on my calf um they come up to like below it and it's it's a nice fit it's a nice feeling it's not it's not a quarter crew it's not a full crew i mean i know there's a crew but they're not like a real full length crew um Obviously, they're not really making these anymore now that Stance Hoops took over. And now that Stance took over making their socks. But, um, you know, if they do choose to make their own undeniable line and you're a UA fan and you just have to have a UA sock that just has UA on it, then, you know, picking up the undeniables isn't bad. You can get them pretty daggone cheap, but like Ross and TJ Maxx and Marshalls, I've seen them as low as two bucks a pop. So if you can find them for $2 a pop, I would say go ahead and stock up because they're a good sock. They're going to get the job done. Uh, when they do get wet, watch out because you're going to slide. Uh, next up is the regular, we'll jump into the regular Nike Elites. Um, we all know about the Elite. I'm not going into tech with them. All I can tell you is these, all my pairs fit properly. They're all mediums. I bought my right size. They just don't hug my forefoot very well. After a while of playing, it stretches and gets even worse. Um, and when they get wet, you're sliding in your shoe. Sorry, guys. That's a, that, that is an issue across the entire Nike basketball sock line. When they get wet, you're sliding. Don't, don't feed me any garbage. I've played in all their socks. I've been playing in their socks for years. I've been playing in their socks before they make elite socks. I used to play in their tube socks in the 90s. The ones that we would pull up went to our knees. Because back then it was cool. Y'all don't know nothing about the UC Bearcats and wearing those socks with those shorts that came down halfway down there. <laughs> Yo. Shout out to Jordan Brand in the 1990s Jordan uniforms, the UC Bearcats. Y'all y'all ain't got nothing like that now. Anyway, back to Elite Socks. They fit to the right height on the upper portion. Uh, they did feature some nice padding around the ankle. Uh, impact protection was, was adequate. The cushioning is okay. It does break down after consistent use. Um, like I said, the forefoot fit is a little loose. And once they get wet, you're sliding. Uh, it's a good sock, something you can pick up at Ross, TJ Maxx, Marshalls for somewhere between $4.99 and $6.99. Um, at those kinds of prices, I would say go ahead and grab them, but I would not drop $22, $24, $28 on a pair of these. Uh, next up, we're going into the cheaper of the Nike basketball NBA stuff. First off, I am not a Nike hater. But I'm going to give you some information that's going to piss off some of you Nike people. You are paying, if you're buying this sock and not the NBA, like NBA player sock, which is retarded expensive. Like, really retarded expensive. These are overpriced. You were able to get quarter crews for 22 that had adequate padding. Um, there was nothing taken away from the sock. It wasn't cheapened in any way. Why, why, why go from that to this? That, like, if you're going to give us a quality sock, give us a quality sock for the same price. Just because your your Nike logo's on this thing doesn't mean to jack up the price and give us a less quality product. I understand. We got to pay for the swoosh. We got to pay for the NBA trademark. 
if Stance could do it for $22 and $24 respectively, you ought to be able to do it for $22, $24 respectively. Sorry, there's no reason we should be paying more than $24 for a crew NBA sock. That's quality. Just shouldn't do it. Um, I will tell you the fit lengthwise, I mean height-wise, was good. There was, it wasn't overly high. Uh, fit was very good in the heel. Fit was very good in the midfoot. Like, honestly, this is some of the best midfoot fit in a sock I've had. Um, the forefoot wasn't awful. It wasn't perfect. I would definitely recommend these in shoes that have a ton of padding. Uh, I will tell you that. That is, that is one thing about this pair. Um, shoes that are very tight or have a lot of padding. Um, sometimes it's a pain in the butt to get in with my stance hoops, just admittedly. So I'm keeping these around strictly for those pairs that have just a lot of padding or they're hard to get into, uh, because that padding on that shoe and the impact protection on the shoe makes up for the lack of padding and impact protection from this sock. Um, you know, paying what we're paying for this sock, it should have more impact protection, it should have more padding. Um... But the fit is good. The quality's pretty good. When they get wet, they get slick. It's just it's just a Nike basketball trait with the socks. Um, that, again, happens in all socks. But it seems like it happened for me, for me personally, more with the Nike basketball socks. Um, I would wait until these start showing up at, at clearance and at the Nike outlets before you start buying these um, because the price point is just too high. Um, and can y'all give us some daggone, not, not like jersey color match, but actual like specific team socks like Stance did. If you're gonna, if you're gonna take over just give us team specific socks. People want team specific specific socks, not just colors. Please. All right. Next up, I'm gonna jump and drop the last to the best two last to an extent. So these are fusion hoops, stance hoops. As you can see, they feature the same tech features the NBA socks feature. They're just cheaper. Um, I will tell you that the material on the hoops line is softer. Um, so when they get wet, they do get slightly slick. And you thought I wasn't going to say anything negative about, about stance. They do get slightly <laughs> slick, uh, when they get wet. So that is, that is one thing I will say about them. Um, the only other drawback that I have with stance hoop stuff is sometimes different designs fit my foot differently. And what I mean is, is there's sometimes I've bought pairs and they just the fit around my foot portion hasn't been as good as like another pair in another design or the length on the upper portion has felt a little longer on some like, and I can actually tell you that some of my NBA socks run longer in height than some of the other ones. Um, I don't know why, it's just they do. Some of them run longer. I don't know if it's just, you know, error in making the sock or if it's just a, a one sock to the next kind of case. I'm sure it goes on in all the other brands too. This is not just a stance thing. So before you say anything, it's not a stance thing. It's an everybody sock thing. It's just something I ran into. Um, the pattern they use to help with avoiding the slippage works it, it's a it's a good setup obviously nba players loved it i love it it works until they just get soaked and then you gotta swap socks it's it's just you know and that's with any sock don't play in wet socks change your socks out change out your shoes if you play too long in a shoe you're going to have containment issues 
If you play too long in a pair of socks, it's going to result in issues. So if you're noticing decreased performance out of a shoe after a, an extended period of time in one session, it's probably not so much the shoe as user error, but I'm not going there tonight. Anyway, so worth the money, feel good on the foot, Fitment is excellent 98% of the time. But when they get wet, you need to change them out. Next up, kind of getting to the, to the top of the top here, all right? These are the socks that the players are wearing. And my God, are they thick. Like, my feet were sweating from the time I put them on till the time I took them off. That said, I have never put on a sock that has this much daggone padding everywhere. Like, this portion from here up is great, but look at, look at that, look at that area around your ankle. I mean, that's retarded. That's like a retarded amount of padding right there. You know, it makes it great when you're wearing a pair of shoes that don't have a ton of padding around your ankle and you get stepped on. Uh, but that's just, that's a lot of padding. Um, you know, the fit on the foot wasn't awful. Uh, it was a little too wide in the forefoot. Again, I buy my proper size socks. I buy my proper size shoes. It's the socks. It's an issue with Nike Elite socks. The forefoot all runs wide on all their socks. It just does. Um, the midfoot fit pretty good. The heel portion was actually the best. And I, what I do like here is this. So you can see where the heel portion sits in. There's more padding. And then right here and right here to keep, keep that heel locked in, they have actually used kind of what feels like a stretchier different material to clamp down on that section. If they would have just done that up here, like they could have used that here, and then figured some way around this or just split this piece right here, which I understood where that sits on your foot and you want more padding. But if they could have figured a way just to run that ran like right here or something all the way around, it would have made these socks like, I mean, a whole step better. Um, I will tell you that the NBA versions are ridiculously overpriced. These versions, unless you grab them at uh, Ross, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, they're still overpriced. Um, even, I mean, they're, they're overpriced there because, like, I still paid almost $10 for these. Um, I can buy Stance Hoop socks, and, I'm, and I don't, I don't, I've never made a huge hobby of it, habit of it with, with the Stance Hoop stuff until the NBA line came there, and then it's just, you're crazy if you're passing up Stance Hoop's NBA socks for $2.00. But if I can get Stance Hoop socks for 2 and $4 from TJ Maxx and Ross, why am I going to spend double the amount for these? So for two pairs of, for one pair of these, I can get two pairs of Stance Hoop socks. And then you're just using your money properly. And you're getting more for your money, which means you're getting more bang for your buck. Which is why we're all trying to do, really, because we buy too many shoes. Saving money is part of this, guys. Just remember that. Lastly... The NBA, the croup de gras of basketball socks. There is not, and I am telling you, any better socks than the Stan Hoops NBA line sock. Until they got soaked, I wasn't sliding. They have proper padding around the ankle, not too much padding. They have proper padding in the heel, not too much padding. They have good containment around the midfoot. They have good containment in the forefoot. The pattern to help aid in traction works. Their ones that had the traction strips were crazy. Yo, if y'all could bring back those full length traction strips, especially the ones that used to wrap up here on the back of the heel. Man, you wanna talk about curing heel slip? Bruh. Like, you weren't going anywhere in and out of that shoe if you had those socks. Anyway, the NBA line of stance. You are paying $22 and $24 for the cruise. 
for the team crews. Like, the core crews. Um, you know, for the base colors. And then um, then you have the special edition socks. Some of them are like 28. I think some are 26. Uh, the the Don, just Don socks were gone godly expensive. They were like 50 bucks a pair. And I... I just couldn't bring myself to draw 50 bucks on a pair of socks. Like, guys, I love your socks. Uh, but I don't love them that much. Um, if you can find the NBA line sock at Ross TJ Maxx Marshalls for that, because right now they're back to $3.99, grab them, grab them, grab them. Stock up, stock up, stock up. Keep an eye out for when they go on sale on the site keep an eye out for when they go on sale on the shoe sites stance hoops isn't going anywhere um out of all the brands this is what i'm going to stick with i'm going to stick with this my whole life but now you guys know that i have tried the other socks and I, again i'm not bashing any brands i am not a brand basher i am not a nike hater so for god's sakes can we please quit calling me a nike hater I don't hate Nike. I obviously own Nike shoes. I own Nike clothes. I own Nike socks. I just said I was going to use the, the cheaper version of the NBA line in shoes that have a ton of padding. I'm planning on using those Nike basketball socks and stuff like my Wades and my KT3s where I have a little forefoot volume to kind of eat it up a little bit. All these socks have pluses and minuses, guys. But let's just remember that because there's a swoosh, it doesn't make it the best product in the world. Or because there's a Stance logo, it doesn't make it... Just like Brand Black or UA or Adidas. They all have their pluses. They all have their minuses, guys. Let's be a little more realistic about what we're buying and what we're saying online about products. And let's start thinking with our heads a little bit. And not just what's going to get us likes on the gram. All right? So I hope y'all found this informational to an extent of understanding that there's different options out there. There's different socks. Uh, I hope you guys make an effort to try different brands. Um, this is the Broken Baller. Broken Baller crew. This is a Broken Baller report. We out. Peace.